Recording in progress. Okay. Happy Monday. I know that this time of year is a little hectic for everybody. So I understand when, um, oh, Selena. I know that not everyone can make all these, which is why we record them. And that makes it extra helpful. Um, I wanted to quickly go over the agenda for today. What I want to go over with you guys and please don't worry if you're in a place where you can't write anything because I'm going to make sure this is, I'm working on putting this stuff on the calendar and um, getting it to you hopefully today so that you have all of this stuff um, hard copy and you can plan out your days accordingly. So I have a really cool exercise I want to go through first. It's kind of like a prayer um, exercise. I've been talking a lot with Colleen Curtis, who, if you don't know her, she's in, she's in Liz's, my coach Liz's, she's in our upline team. I'll put it that way. Um, and I've always just really admired her business and entrepreneurial savviness and wisdom. And um, she's been, she's been a beach body coach for eight years and has learned a lot about business and network marketing and beach body and herself. And she's in this new place in life where she's just gleaning so much wisdom about how to build this business the correct way because she's done it to where she burns out and loses a bunch of team members and income and attracts people that are not her people and makes this business really not fun when you're working with the wrong people and so she's basically in this place of rebuilding and she's being mentored by Keith Callahan who is my grandpa coach so it's Liz's coach he is one of the top earners in Beachbody, but he's also responsible for the top earners in Beachbody, meaning he mentored Liz um, and he's mentored several of the other people not in our team in Beachbody's company, but also other network marketing companies. He's just incredibly wise when it comes to being a smart businessman. And he is all about working smarter and not harder, putting in more intentionality into your business and doing it the right way so that you are um, making less, making more and working less in the long term, which is, I think, the goal for everybody, right? So he has this really cool um, prayer slash exercise slash visualization ex practice that he takes all of his mentorship people through and Colleen sent it to me and I wanted to share it with you guys so even if you're driving um, you can do this and imagine these points that I'm going to walk us through it's just going to take a few minutes but what he had said is he does this and I know for a fact every single high performing entrepreneur coach that I've learned from Brennan Burchard Tony Robbins they all do this before they sit down to work the state of mind that you're in and what you're expecting to come from your work makes every bit of difference on how effective your work will be and how successful you will be. We cannot ignore it and expect to be successful. It is an essential part of this, a essential part of success. So I am going to start. So he says that this is his prayer every morning. Um, he does this with all of his leaders when he does one-on-one -on -one calls with them, any kind of mentorship, they always, always start with this every time. So the most important part of this is to get into the feeling nature of each part of the prayer. So like really vividly imagining whether we go through what you're thankful for or whatever part of it is to actually feel it in your soul. Don't just say it, but to feel these words. So point number one, first, everybody take a deep breath. Yourself in clear. All right. Now I want you to surrender. Surrender all of my own ego. Oh my God. Ego. Ego. <laughs> uh, I'm not making this easy. Surrender all of my ego, myself, and my own agenda. Feel yourself surrender to who God is, his power, and what he wants to do with you, to the calling that he has on your heart. All the expectations that you put on yourself, 
the agendas that you have on your day, all the have to do's. Surrender it. The next part is to get clear. Heavenly Father, to my creator, take away any self-doubt, anxieties, fears, anger, guilt, or shame that I may have. I know that I cannot do it alone. I surrender it all to you. And I feel those negativities leaving my body. Now we are empowered. To my creator, I am coming to you. You cannot deny me. I am slipping into your power and I feel your power coming into me. The next part is to visualize. I visualize my work, my marketing, my conversations, my intentions, everything with my business, eventually helping tens of thousands. Now this could be different for you. Whatever your vision is or your calling that God has put on your heart of what he wants to do in and through you in your business. Put that number there. I visualize this program eventually helping tens of thousands. I visualize starting with 50 or 20. And I visualize helping that first one of those 50 people. I visualize each of them not as they are right now, but what at but as what they can be. All of my customers and the coaches, the clients I'm working with, I visualize them not as they are, but as they can be. And when we start to think of things this way, we start to think of the potential that our team could have, that your ministry could have, that your work could have, that your marketing could have, that your Instagram stories could have. Because remember, that we surrendered all of our fears and our anxieties. And we let God empower us with his power and his calling. That turns us into a vessel. And we are visualizing all that he can do in and through us to help all of these people, these billions of people on the planet that need help, that need hope that need the tools and the passions and the desires and the joy and the hope that we have, they need it. And we are a vessel in that process. Visualize yourself and your clients as their highest self, meaning the fullest potential of who God's created you and them to be. And that's happening in part because of the work that you're doing. It's pretty exciting. Feel like what, imagine and visualize what it feels like to be in that moment where you have helped hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands. What does that feel like to know at the end to look God in the eyes and say, for him to say to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. To say, to know that you did not let your own fears and anxieties and insecurities get in your own way of helping these people who are desperate for help. And now we ask, we ask as leaders, all in different ways in different circles for help. We ask for help to empower the people that we are in relationship with that are in our circles, to help to uncover blockages, to see the things our minds cannot see, 
help to act in a loving way, help to be tough on issues, but gentle on people. Help to be a true coach and not a critic or just a cheerleader. And we end with gratitude and giving thanks. I give thanks in advance for all that has come, for all that is to come. And I feel the gratitude for everything that is coming our way. Now this prayer or visualization, visualization exercise, um, people in our world interpret different ways. So I've heard people say the universe, whatever. Um, but for me, and I know for those of you on this call, how connected I feel to God's power and the calling that he's put on each one of our hearts. And I know that he has called us to be bold and strong and courageous. And I know when you look at the work that we're doing from a spiritual aspect and you look at the character of God and the character of the enemy, there is distraction all around us. And when the devil can get inside our heads and tempt us to doubt our potential that God's given us, our calling that God's given us, our adequacies, our identity, when he can distract us and make us busy and confused, for most people, it stops them from living their fullest potential of, or from doing bold things, from taking bold steps where God really wants to use them because they're scared. And so we don't. And I don't know if you guys can identify with that, but I know that I definitely can. And so I really loved this, starting our call, starting your workspace, your work time, starting your day with this exercise. And I'm going to copy it and I will paste it in our uh, to make sure you guys have this. <coughs> but I think it's such a powerful way to get really clear on why we're here and why we show up every day and why are we showing up on the silly little app of Instagram other than just to get a few likes or just to get a boost more followers. Like what's the point of that? It's got to be bigger. It's got to be bigger than us and it's got to be bigger than our current struggles it's got to be for something bigger. And this, for me, really helps me connect that for me. This is why I'm showing up. This is why I'm marketing on Instagram because people are struggling there. This is why Facebook is a really dark place right now and there's so much corruption and people are stressed out because of what's going on and the lack of control. And so I'm going to look at God's character and the enemy's character. And I'm going to ask God, how do you want to use me in this? Because I know that you are a God of peace and you are a God of love and you are a God of truth. So how can I show up to help people take care of themselves so they feel empowered so that they can be more present in their families and raise their babies with more truth and more hope and more joy. And so they can encourage their friends who are really struggling that you don't have to, you know, reach for these things that are unfulfilling but let's work out together. Let's do a Bible study together. Join this community of mine. Our team, we're doing these fun things coming up these, you know, this next month and a half, which I'm going to tell you guys right now, invite them. Not just to sell a challenge pack or a bike, but because we have something deeper and so much exceedingly more important than $50 you're going to get from a challenge pack or from becoming an emerald or a diamond coach or a star diamond coach. The point is this and connecting everything back to this so that we know again why we're not giving up because it's going to be hard and people are going to judge us and we're going to feel tempted to quit and it's going to be overwhelming, but remembering that this goes back to serving other people at a deeper level. Good, right? I think so. <laughs> okay, so that is check number one. Um, number two, I'm, so I went over, I will say confession. Um, you guys all know this. If you've been a part of our team this year for me and my life has been a bit of a doozy, uh, when it comes to business organization. And Sarah is like, Jessica, I've been with you since the beginning. Organization has never quite been your strong suit to which I agree. <laughs> 
Sarah is amazing at like checklists and business stuff. It is not my strength and it's something I'm always looking to improve and not to tell you like the day before we're going to do something like, oh, last night I need to do our business. Of, I need to do our um, coach call event in our Facebook page last night. Hope people can make it. Hope everyone remembers. Yeah, see, I don't have the best organization structure. I am improving, which is the point of this call because we're in the holiday season and I want everyone to be as successful as you want to be. And I want also at the same time to build a stronger team culture that everyone is excited to be a part of. Um, and we've had ebbs and flows with our team with this. We, we, there were some really fun things we did last year is before I moved. Um, we did mimosas, like mass and mimosas Monday, Monday, mass and mimosas. And that was a really fun thing. Um, and there's been times in my life where I've been able to be more creative with those things. And because of the chaos, it turns out internet, it's kind of an important thing, you know, and helping, having help with my kids now is a very important thing that I didn't really need before. And so I'm adjusting and pivoting as I fall on my face constantly and just know that's a part of business. And as long as you're learning to pivot and become wiser to make a business that fits your life better in the chapters that you're in and we're moving forward, that's all that, that's the best that we can do, right? So um, if you are not driving and you have a calendar out, I wanted to kind of walk you through some fun things that we're going to do as a team. I wanted to talk to you about Job One, which is the newest program that's launching in December. The sample workout is now out. Um, I posted, hi Amy, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I posted in our leadership page um, where that the link is. It is on Vimeo now. Um, I kind of like using the customized link that's in your coach office. So if you don't know where to find that, let me know. It's under featured content right now, which is really easy to find, but it's always under under coach.teambeachbody.com. When you're logged in, you can go to, um, well, I'm blanking out right now on what the first thing is you click on, but it's basically shareable media and tool product toolkit. And then you'll click on job one. And then there'll be a sample workout that you can share a customized link that's linked to your coach account. So let's say your friend wants to try it. They click on the customized link that's linked to your um, your coach account. They try the workout. They decide they love it. There's a thing at the top that says view my site. They click on that and they go buy something. They're linked to you as long as they didn't have a previous Beachbody account. So that's really helpful. Um, so again, sample workout launches today. This is what we're doing with that. On Saturday, yes, Saturday the 4th, and for every Saturday through the end of the year, we are doing a team-wide workout on Zoom at seven in the morning Pacific time. This is for you to invite anyone to. So even people who aren't your clients, anyone can participate. Um, they only need access to either a sample workout or Beachbody On Demand. So this Saturday, we're all gonna do drop one together. If you haven't been a part of a team workout, how it works is everyone pulls up Zoom on a device and then they also pull up their own workout either on the same device or on a different one so what I usually do is well the bike screens probably change things um, but what I will do is I'll pull up my computer and I'll have zoom up in the corner and then see people on the corner and then I'll have my workout on the same screen um, but on the other side of the screen if that makes sense we all mute each other, we say hi, and then we all mute ourselves and everyone will press play on their workout. So we're all doing our own workouts with our own audio, but it's kind of cool because you can see other people working out at the same time and it just adds some kind of fun. And then at the end, we'll all unmute ourselves and say, people who want to stick around and um, say, oh my gosh, that was such a good workout, <laughs> which makes things kind of fun. Sometimes we'll do things after the workout as well, which I'll get to. So that's this week. So you know to invite anyone you want to um, to our workout 7 a.m. on, where am I? The 20th, <laughs> that was in December. Um, okay, so we have that. Um, for those of you that are in my BOD group right now, 
I'm doing a take action challenge that started today. So every time people log a workout or a Shakeology in the app, I'm going to be doing a raffle on Monday next week, the 22nd. And they, for however, every time you log those things, you get an entry. So if you do two shakes a day and you log those two shakes, you get two entries for that day. So I'm doing a 25 Amazon gift card, a leopard print headband, similar to this one, and a shaker cup decal, just like silly things. Um, but it's hopefully going to increase people's engagement and get them involved in community, which is what we're trying to build. People stay around and engage for the community more than anything. And so the more we can build our community together, the better off our businesses will be, our team will be, the more fun we'll have, the more relationships that we'll have, which is, which is the point is building relationships with other people. Um, starting on Monday, the 22nd, Jamie is actually going to take over our Health Patriot Nation Facebook page. I've been talking with her a bit about what we want to do to, again, cultivate more of a community to where every coach doesn't feel like they have to do this all on their own, uh, where you don't feel like, man, I have to, you know, Jessica has 500 plus people in her Health Patriot Nation page. How am I going to duplicate that? And that's so overwhelming because I'm still working full time and I have all these other things. I just wanted to, you know, dip my toes in the water or I just wanted to invite more people, but this is so much work and I've got a bot group that I have to set up and now I have to set up a marketing campaign and an email campaign. I've watched this happen to so many coaches and then they... Are, they disappear. They're like, I can't do this. Has anyone felt that way? Um, so yeah, know that you're not alone. Pretty much everybody has. So if you're still here, thank you for not giving up. So our idea is to come together and work smarter, not harder, right? So Jamie's going to take over the Health Patriot Nation Facebook page for a week. Use that as a free community if you want to, to invite anyone to be a part of our free community. They don't have to buy anything. They don't have to do anything. But know that we are going to more consistently have free value to offer people, people in the topic of health and wellness. So hers is her week's called Nourish and Nurture. And it has to do with gratitude and the importance of it in our lives. So every day there will be new content added into there. I think there's recipes and things like that, which will be awesome. Um, if you have any questions about that, drop in the chat or please let me know. So that's going to be awesome. And then I'm going to ask you guys, if you are like, oh, that's so awesome. I would love to challenge myself to do that. I would love for you to take a week before the end of the year, pick a week that you want to take over the team page. I'll make you an admin in the group and you can do anything. You can talk or share about anything. I think that what Jamie's using is from either she bought it on Etsy or the coach collaboration. I don't remember. So it's not stuff that she's necessarily coming with all coming up with all on her own, which while well, you can do that, um, there's simple one week guides out there where you can step up into leadership and use this as a growing opportunity to teach people. And to share with people what works for you and what doesn't work for you and to share your story. And in doing that, you're going to make more connections. You're going to build your confidence. Your voice is going to come out more. And um, you're going to feel more confident inviting people to this free community because you're the one taking the reins that week. So if, again, if it's something that you are willing to do, please reach out to me and we'll pick a, a week on the calendar that you can do that. Um, I'm doing a second raffle on... November 30th for the take action challenge with similar prizes, just so you guys know. And then following Thanksgiving, how do most people feel? <laughs> bloated with tryptophan. No, they feel bloated and like blah and going into December. And then, oh my gosh, it's the new year and my pants don't fit. So it's a perfect, it's a perfect opportunity to offer another solution for people. Um, those who have a three-day re refresh, I'm going to encourage them to do it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 28th, 29th, and 30th. But I've also, uh, we're in the last, Krista and I are in the last week of our reset. Thank the Lord Jesus. And uh, it's made me think, though, how simple it would be if people didn't have the three-day refresh to do a sample three-day cleanse menu that's plant-based and or have like a plant-based structure and add in, you know, like two Shakeologies a day. 
um, and add in water with Himalayan salt to where they're still going to see results in three days, but it, they don't necessarily have to purchase a kit if they don't have one. And, but they're going to still be using Shakeology in that to get that nutrient density. So I think it could be something to help kickstart people's results and get them interested in maybe purchasing more Shakeology or purchasing a three day refresh kit. However you want to market that or spin that or come up with a menu on your own. I just think it's, it is an opportunity to bring a solution to a problem that people are going to have after Thanksgiving and that it's going to make them want to come to you to say, Hey, what do you have to offer me? This is even something we could do in our free group if we wanted to like a three day cleanse in our free group. Um, okay. So think about that. Moving on to December, since we're there already, uh, job one, the program launches to coaches and preferred customers on Thursday, December 2nd. So make sure you have that on your calendar. I will tell you, as I've been thinking about this program, um, my business started with 22 Minute Hardcore. And the only reason I ever joined Beachbody was because there was a 20 minute program because I was, most of you know, working full time as a new mom and my husband was on call all the time. And there was even the 30 minute program was very intimidating to me with the time that I had. And it really inspired me to realize that I could exercise from home and they would actually work and I could get results and feel healthy while still juggling all these things. So when recognize who your ideal client is for this program, it's not going to be the gym junkie because most of those people like to spend hours in the gym. So when you're talking to your ideal client for this program, speak to their pain points, which is going to be time. It's going to be time and maybe motivation. Um, maybe people who start something and always quit. They never finish. This is only four weeks and it's five days a week, 20 minutes a day. I think that for a lot of people is a very, it, it brings a lot of hope. I don't know about you, but when you think about that versus 645, 13 weeks, it's like this, okay, I can do this. Like I can do this. I like Amy, are you on here still? Yes. I am so freaking proud of you that you finished 645 all 13 weeks and did not skip a workout. I want us all to give a round of applause to Amy because that is incredible. As a mom of two little girls living in the wilderness, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> My daughter's yelling. Thank you. How do you feel? It was, it was hard committing to that, but I'm glad I got it done, but it wasn't easy to get that done. Um, that was a big commitment for sure. I feel good. Good. I'm glad you cut up a, a little bit, but I, I heard that you feel good and your abs are amazing and your arm definitions on point. So I'm really proud of you. Amazing job. <laughs> um, okay, so I just had to like, that's just really, and I know Jamie finished it as well, which I'm so proud of her. Jamie couldn't make it today, she's got an appointment. Um, but for me, who quit 645, probably on like week one, <laughs> I am really looking forward to this program. Like really looking for this program. So just remember that in your marketing, who you're talking to. Um, and you are not, a. I heard, actually, I heard Colleen say this the other day. You are not a paid sales salesman. That's not what we do. You're a paid so, uh, problem solver. And so what problem is this program going to solve for people? You're the person that's offering that to them. And that's our job. Uh, so going back to... That launches for coaches and preferred customers on the second. Um, remember for the rest of the year, moving forward, as long as this works for everyone, we're gonna have our team calls on Mondays at noon Pacific time. So set alarms in your phones and your calendars because it's super easy to forget in the middle of the day. 
we have going back to again every Saturday at seven other than Christmas, we'll be doing um, morning workouts that you can invite to. On the 16th, oh wait, let me go back. Starting on December 13th, we're doing something fun as a team and it's called 12 Days of Give Mas. Get it? Give Mas. If you didn't take a Spanish class, Mas means more. And when I was, I was talking with Jamie about this and we're doing it the 12 days leading up to Christmas. So it starts on the 13th and every day we're giving a prize away. And I really liked this name because in this season, things get overwhelming. Overwhelming with life, overwhelming with holidays, overwhelming with food, overwhelming with the world, overwhelming with kids, overwhelming with everything, activities. And then usually your business falls last on that overwhelming with your business. How in the heck am I going to show up for a power hour or to send invites or on Instagram when my brain is so full? And so if that's you, or if you get into that season, I want you to go back to how can you give more? In the state of overwhelm, how can you serve more people? How can you give more hope? On Instagram, because for most of us, we're not meeting in person with a lot for a lot of things right now. How can you give in your marketing? How can you serve people more? Give more recipes, more meal plans, more inspiration, more testimonials, more information. Maybe you love teaching about health stuff or you're teaching about organization or teaching about gardening in the winter. How can you solve more people's problems? based on your presence in the world. Maybe that's showing up for mom friends who are really struggling. Whatever that looks like, how can you give more? And I promise you, if you focus on this, your overwhelm will start to dissipate. And you're gonna be felt, you're gonna be filled with more gratitude for where you're at. And it always happens. I was talking to my mom about this uh, before the call. Every year that we focus on giving more to people rather than what are we going to get or what are we going to receive or our own problems? It just like, it's like God covers our minds and hearts with gratitude and sufficiency. And it's just a shift happens. So instead of shifting into desperation, I need to grow my business. I want to grow my business. I need to grow my business. I need to show up every day. I have to do this. Shifts to how can I serve more people? How can I give mass? So to make this a fun team thing, um, we are, I need to pull up these things that I wrote out for the qualifications, just so you guys know. And again, I will type these out so you know how to enter into this raffle of the giveaways because it's for both um, new people and our current team members. Um, side note to this. We are wanting to partner with small businesses to find the prizes if we can. So if you guys know of a small business that would like free marketing to share their product or their service or whatever it may be, please let me know or let Jamie know. We're kind of partnering up on this to um, because we're going to share these businesses on our Instagram messages. We're all going to. I mean, as many of you as well are willing to. And then I'm going to make a, like a flyer with all the businesses that are partnering with us because we thought how, how awesome for us to promote more small businesses during the holiday season. And then we can get some of these prizes covered so that we're not paying out of pocket for all these prizes, right? So um, I, I've already found, I found an awesome local company that makes a lot of patriotic um, car magnets, like the American flag car magnets. They do a lot of law enforcement, military, second amendment stuff. And so I reached out to them and they're throwing together um, a flag, a magnet flag package. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but uh, they're really awesome. Yes, mom. Yes. Yeah. One Hope Wines will be donating a day and so will Thin Blue Line Candle Company. That's my stepdad's uh, candles. Okay, perfect. Well, there we go. So if you know anyone, please reach out. So here's the goals of this giveaway. Like we're not just doing this, like, I mean, we're doing this for fun, but there is intentionality behind it. So there's three goals. Number one, to get new members into our wellness community in the month of December. This is going to help for each of you to grow your businesses, grow more people, more hands on deck, right? Number two is to show appreciation to current members 
making them feel loved and a part of something exciting. And number three is to get current members reinvested in their health through new orders and new engagement. How many clients do you have or people that you know who have ordered a challenge pack from you 10 months, 14 months ago, and then they're like, you've never heard from them again. So we're, we're trying to get these people re-engaged who have already joined you, but they've just fallen off and they've forgotten why they started and they don't have that belief anymore. So those are our three goals. And then how to enter into this giveaway. One way is to order a challenge pack or a completion pack, now called a total solution pack, my bad. Number two is to order one of the following four packages that we put together. And this is mostly gonna market to our current clients based on what their needs are. So again, I will have these out for you, but I've written out for you. Uh, three boxes of beach bars, a performance stack, the ultimate gut health stack, and this is ultimate reset digestive enzymes, probiotics, and greens, or the glow and go stack, which is collagen, energize, and hydrate. So these are di have different needs based on what the person needs. <laughs> different solutions based on different people's problems, right? Um, and I'll probably write up a little thing of what's best, like based on what you need, here's the different options. So we'll have people purchase those things and then they get entered into the, into the raffle. The cool thing is that you can tell people now, clients that you are signing up now, hey, we're doing this awesome giveaway that I want you to be entered in next month, starting on the 13th. This is a great time to join us. This is also a great time to join the business side because people spend so much money during the holidays, right? For health and wellness. And we're doing, our team collectively are doing some really fun promotions that they don't have to do any work for. They just have to get to invite to, which is awesome. So any questions about the giveaways, the 12 days of Give Mass? Okay. Sarah, I didn't know if you're typing or unmuting yourself. So I was pausing. I'm trying to unmute myself. Okay. I'm struggling. So it could be, so it doesn't have to be just like our business. It could be any other small business that we know of, right? Yeah. The giveaway stuff. Okay, cool. So I can any, any small business, like okay. any, any small business. We just want to promote other businesses and bring them into our giveaway to support them. So we'll be promoting them throughout the month as a thank you. Um, and then we're just asking for them to donate their product or whatever, or if you could get it at a discounted rate. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. I love the idea. Yay, I'm excited about it too. I have a quick question. Yeah. Is it gonna be, so is it like a raffle style then for all 12 days? Yes. Is that what you're thinking? Okay. Yeah. So if you so buy a pack, it's ideal timing for me, right? Cause I'll be shifting. Um, so if you buy, let's say a pack or you buy one of those things, are you entered in for all 12 days? Yes. Okay. I'll probably remove the winners. Yeah. Like if you win on day one, I'll remove you. Um, okay. But yeah, you'll, they'll stay entered for all 12 days. So for anybody kind of rejoining or restarting, there's a good new program, something new, even beyond this, like November. I know. I so. know. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, um, I haven't heard back from Beachbody on your restart date, but I messaged them this morning. Oh, thank you. I was going to get to it this afternoon. I've been gone surfing with my son all morning. Oh, actually, <laughs> they just messaged me. You're going to be so excited. November 29th. Oh, there you go. How great is that? <laughs> oh, it's so great. It. Yay. Okay, Yay. cool. I'll connect with you later on that then. <laughs> okay, thank perfect. you. Sorry, I just looked. Um, Good question. Okay, cool. Um, and then moving forward on the calendar, December 16th is when job one is open to regular customers. I will say this, now that we have the preferred customer program, I don't see any reason why anyone would ever want to join as a regular customer. <laughs> because most people's reservations was signing up with the coach title and 
putting their social security number when they wanted nothing to do with the coach that maybe they wanted a discount on the product, but they wanted nothing to do with coaching. And now they don't have to put their social and they won't have the title coach, but they still get the 25% off. So I just, it's kind of for me and make this make sense in your brain because it's going to change the way you have conversations with people. To me, it makes no sense to join as a customer anymore. Like who wants to pay full price for something? Unless they just want to try Energize and then that's it, then that's fine. But that's my thought process. Um, okay. And then I'm excited about this. On December 20th, it is a Monday evening. We are going to get dressed up and have a team Zoom Christmas party. So mark your calendars. Um, mom, I'm going to need help with you because I want to do, um, for anyone who wants to do like wine tasters, samplers, we'll set up a, a One Hope wine tasting as well. Um, we probably won't go in depth on the, like the wine, we'll, we'll drink it and then we can talk about it a little bit, but, um, we can sell, people can buy the wine flight. It's such good wine, you guys, and it's all organically sourced. And for anyone who gets sick, if you drink wine, for anyone who gets like a headache or feels hungover after drinking wine, you will, that will not happen. I know from experience and from some of my best friends from nursing school, we have these wine nights and some of us have gone rogue and gotten different wine and it is a mistake after, let me tell you. Um, so we'll set up, I think it's, it's less than 30 bucks, I think, or $30. Yeah, it is. It's, it's about, I think it's $29. We just yeah. set up a virtual party and then everybody can get their virtual kits. And then in the kit, you also, it's super cute because it, it comes with individual little bottles, but then you also get a $15 gift card in there if you want to order any any wine afterwards if you want to form the party or whatever if if you found one that you love love or you want to get it as a gift you could you have $15 towards it so it's really virtually $15 for the tasting flight and it's so the wine is so good so we'll it's couple so it with that um which I'm excited about and then we're gonna do secret santa on our team. And this isn't just for coaches. So if you have customers who want to be involved in this, um, I want you guys to know this now. So you're excited to invite people to join you and to like invite all of your friends to like, Hey, let's do this together. People are missing community. And I know that we're in a new place. And so still finding that, you know, community in those circles, I think this will be really fun. It's going to be at six o'clock Pacific time. We don't have a ton of Eastern time people. And if you are Eastern time, I'm sorry, because I know this is late for you, but when we do it earlier, it seems to never work out for people. So um, 6 p.m., we're gonna play some games. We'll have some giveaways, wine, and let's vote on, do we wanna do ugly Christmas sweater or do we wanna do like fancy dress up? I vote for no ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bougie, mom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do we want to do leopard Christmas, tactical leopard Christmas? Um, <laughs> that could be fun. We could do PJs too. That's not as fancy, but it's comfy. We can. <laughs> Mom, I might trump you and still do Christmas sweaters. I, I don't care. You don't have to. I'm just saying, I don't want to do all your ugly sweater, but you could do whatever you want and I'll go long. I'm going to buy you an ugly Christmas sweater. I'm gonna oh, I'm not going to wear it. <laughs> oh, I have one in mind already for you, Gina. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll figure out those details, but either way, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, and it's as fun as it can be through Zoom. I wish we could all be together one day maybe um that is our last big thing that I have on the calendar before we go into January so with all that being said again I'm working on the calendar um if you guys have an idea thinking of how can we build our collective communities stronger and you have a fun thing that you want to host whether that's like I know that some teams have done um a movie night where you all get on 
Zoom together, as silly as this sounds, and then everyone watches the same movie. Um, like I think there's, I, I, my friend Amy Bailey did um, one, one. Uh, oh my gosh, Brene Brown's Netflix, uh, not a documentary, but her video, and they watched it together. Like everyone made popcorn in their pajamas, and that could be some. That could be fun, like doing something like that, or. Um, you could do a spin. What did we, there, mom, we came up with some fun names that can, combined like mimosas and the bike or champagne and spinning. I think something. we were drinking at the time. So it was easier to come up with names. <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> Inhibitions removed. Um, I will think, I will have to think of yeah. some. Anything fun like that, that you guys can think of that like, oh, this would be so fun. And I would like to organize this game night or um, someone told me about Hallmark Christmas movie bingo the other day. And I was like, what? That's a thing. Like there's bingo cards that you can get and watch Hallmark movies and check them off. Like um, a couple of kiss That's so cute. I think or drinking hot cocoa or a snowball fight, like things that are always happen in Hallmark movies. Mom, are you saying something? I was just getting, I, one of the names came to me, Sip and Spin was one of, one of the names, but I'll have to think of the other because I know we came up with all kinds of great, great names. We'll have things. to sip after the spin so there's no safety, like, Injury. Yeah, maybe spin uh, then sip. <laughs> mimosas on our bikes and we <laughs> cut it in our time. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I love it. So yeah, please keep me posted on that. And then moving forward with our team calls, just so you guys have an idea of kind of where I'm at and structuring these to make sure that they're serving you best. We're, I'm going to try and structure our business learning, business building topics for the first 30 to 40 minutes and then stop the recording and have more of a, like just a catch up community, personal relationship building time for that last, you know, 20 to 30 minutes so that we all have time to like hang out a little bit on Zoom, but that we also are growing our businesses together. And I um, am working with Colleen actually on some structure for our calls. This is the last thing I'm gonna share and then um, I'll stop talking. But in what she, this mentorship that she's going through with Keith right now, which in the new year I'm going to start as well, which I'm really excited about for the whole team. But she had said that, you know, Keith's strategy and what he teaches in mentorship and what he teaches teams all comes down to two things. It's who do I need to become to, to go where I want to go? Who do I need to become? And what do I need to do to get there? So there's this kind of philosophy of who am I at my core? Who are my core? What are my core values? Who do I need to become to feel my absolute best and who God's called me to be? And then what are the actions I need to take personally in my own business and my own life to get there? And so we're going to be structuring our team calls around that philosophy and then strategy and then that visualization piece, that vision, rem remembering that vision is so important and why you're building this and where you're going and who we are becoming as a team. Who are we growing to be? What are our core values? What kind of people do we want to work with and attract? Um, and I think it's going to be helpful moving forward and especially in this next year. Um, so with that being said, do you guys have, anyone have anything they want to share? Any questions or anything about anything? I'll just say I'm really excited about all the things. And I loved, um, I loved that prayer that you did. That was so needed today. <laughs> So it's like perfect timing. So oh, thank you. I loved it too. We're going to start every call that with that. I love it. Teach it. Hey. I was just going to say the same thing. I love the prayer. I think it's so important. 
um, in anything you're doing to have that time and meditation and that focus on that. And every the whole time you were reading that prayer, um, it brought to mind one of my absolute favorite songs. So I was going to share that in case any of you need to listen to the song with that prayer time or before, but Cody Carnes, Nothing Else is one of my favorite songs because it really talks about completely, which I've been going through a lot this year of completely stripping, asking God to completely strip away all of me. And I love the phrase in the song where it says, I'm sorry for bringing you my own agenda. And I'm sorry when I forget that you're not enough, which I think, um, especially as you know, creative women, we forget, we step into that sometimes and let that, let that rob us of what God's really wanting, how he's wanting to use us and bless us. We forget that he is enough. And we, and we forget sometimes instead of bringing our own agenda, we forget just to sit at his feet. And in the, like the song says, I'm not here for blessings. You don't owe me anything. I just want to sit in your holy presence at your feet. And so um, anyway, that's a really, really, it's one of my, it's my absolute favorite song, um, depending on the day <laughs> and wanted to share that in case you guys want to listen to that with it. I think you will probably be like me and just weep through the whole song because your heart is going to resonate with every single word. So good. Such a good song. It goes hand in hand with what we've been talking about church too, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We've been talking about like remembering that. God knows everything that we need and in the Bible, you know, and, and you learn about, or you hear Jesus's words and he says to like seek first the kingdom. He, God knows everything that we need, everything that we need. Mm -hmm. We don't have to seek those things by ourselves. We seek first, you know, God's will and he will provide everything. And it's such a more uh, easier, maybe, I don't know if that's the right word less stressful maybe way to live in our businesses too. oh yeah it takes a load it takes a burden off your shoulders it, it, I know for me it does when I um have this whole thing figured out like okay here's how it has to unfold mm -hmm. um and here's what I have to get done it it really is kind of a nice thing to take weight off your shoulders be like I don't have to worry about all these perfect things falling into place God has this um he's going to show me if there's things out of order um anyway yeah it's it does it just is a lighten it, it lightens your load to kind of take that off and uh, this week too he's been reminding me so much that he knows our inner it's just been that phrase repeating over and over he knows our innermost being our innermost thoughts and hearts desire and all of that he knows that even better than we do sometimes absolutely Okay, I'll get off the soapbox now. <laughs> Yay. It's so good to see you, Elena. So good to see your beautiful face. Hi, Amy. I'm so glad I got to see you too. Hi, uh, I'm glad I made it. Yay. Me too. Awesome, you guys. Well, I'm here. If you need me, <clears throat> I will get this recording up as soon as I can. Um, and I will get the calendars hopefully up today so that you can start planning for yourself and get excited about what you're inviting people to. Oh, and with that, um, I have a weekly, if anyone struggles with what to post on social media, these kinds of things paralyze me personally, but I know that other people, they're very helpful. It's a weekly guide to topics to post on social media to keep things really simple. If you're someone who doesn't, doesn't market your business at all because you don't know what to post use this tools like this to say okay monday i'm supposed to share an inspirational quote tuesday i'm supposed to share something about nutrition wednesday i'm supposed to share something about workouts you know whatever that may be um i'm going to post that all with this so that you have a plan in place okay i'm gonna stop talking love you guys talk to you soon